In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple yet dynamic flash transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So inside of Premiere, you can see I have two video clips on the timeline sat next to each other. Now to do this flash transition, all we need to do is select both layers, go into effects, search for levels. We'll drop levels onto both videos and then at the end of the first video. So we want to scroll through to the very end. So if we zoom into the timeline, that's going to be much easier. So we're not looking here, we're looking here. So just one frame towards the end. At this point, you want to pull the white input level all the way up to a really bright number. Don't worry so much about any artifacts or any imperfections. If you've got a low bitrate camera, don't worry because this is literally only going to be on screen for maybe two or three frames on each section. Then we're going to create a brand new keyframe on that white input level. Then from that point, we're going to go three frames to the left and we're going to pull that down to around 150, 200, somewhere in that territory. So we're not fully back to our perfect exposure yet. And then we'll take it back maybe seven, seven to 10 frames to the left and we'll pull that all the way back up to 255. So we're easing into it like that. Then we'll go to our second video, go to the very beginning. So that very first keyframe increase the white input level up to a really high number again. Brand new keyframe on the RGB white input level, and then we'll go maybe five to 10 frames to the right. Pull that back down to 255, and when we play this back, you can see we transition in, and that looks great. Now, alternatively, you could put this onto an adjustment layer instead. So if we go into project, go new item, new adjustment layer, if we drag this onto the video and we drag levels on, we increase the white input level, create a brand new keyframe, three to the right, pull down. Then we'll go past that point, maybe five or six frames. You can see we end up with this flash effect. So this point here, this bright part, that would be the transition. So we'd make a cut there, drag that over the transition and that creates the flash transition. Now, the great thing is we're doing this on an adjustment layer as opposed to the individual clips is we can just copy and paste this adjustment layer so that we can have this transition appear multiple times throughout the video. Now, of course, in levels, you could actually adjust some of the other settings as well. So rather than just affecting the white input level, we could adjust maybe the red output level, the red gamma, we could adjust the green gamma. So you can basically add a tint to this flash. So it doesn't just have to be a white exposure flash. It could be a color flash. So maybe you wanted a blue flash where you just pull the blue gamma up. So at that transition point, we pull the blue gamma all the way up to a high number. Then we go back on ourselves, pull that back down to where it should be, which is 100. And then you can see we end up with that blue flash. So you can have a play with this, create different variations, but that is how you create an exposure flash transition inside of Premiere Pro. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe or you could check out this video just over here.